Hey, sixth grade, I wanted to review some equivalent ratios with you because um, Prodigy is showing me that we're struggling a little bit here. So 16 to 20 and 6 to 10, are they equivalent? The answer is no, and here's why. To get from 20 to 10, you have to divide, okay, remember for equivalent ratios, to keep it proportional, we have to multiply or divide. We have to divide that by two. But if we split 16 in half, or in other words, if we divide 16 by two, we get eight, not six. So in order for this to be an equivalent ratio to 16 to 20, that six would actually have to be an eight. So these are not equivalent. Let's check these. Are these ratios equivalent? Okay, so you have the first number has to go with the first number, right? Sorry, that was a little choppy. Um, as you know, I'm better at this on the board than on the computer, but we'll go with it. To get from 10 to 30, you multiply by three, right? To get from 12 to 36, you multiply by three. They are indeed equivalent. Okay, so if you count by tens and count by twelves, those would line up in the same rows. Okay, what about the next one? 40 to 15 and 10 to 5. Well, I like to look at my first set of numbers, 40 to 10. Okay, um, in order to get from 40 to 10, I need to divide by 4. However, I can't divide 15 by 4. 15 divided by 3 gets me to 5. So just because, um, like this side over here, just because those are factors of the numbers in that first ratio does not mean they're equivalent. Okay, you have to do that math proportionally. Let's check the last question here. What's the missing number that will make these ratios equivalent? Okay, so something to eight and 12 to 32. Well, to get from eight to 32, I can multiply by four. So in my brain, I'm like, okay, well, what times four gives me 12? It's three. So as you can see, the answer is three, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of, I can't remember what else I saw on those uh, missing numbers for equivalent ratios things where I thought, oh, this is the step that went wrong, but I can't remember it right now. Anyway, so hopefully that little, this little tutorial will help you with some future equivalent ratios as we practice them through the rest of the year.